Hey guys, what's up? We're looking at linear approximations today of multivariable functions. And the function that we want to find the linear approximation of is f of xy equals 1 minus xy cosine of pi y. We want to find the linear approximation for that function at the point 1, 1, and then use the linear approximation to approximate f of 1.02 comma 0.97. What is the linear approximation? Well, the linear approximation is the partial derivative of the function evaluated at the point where we want to find the linear approximation times x minus a, which is going to be the x value where we find the linear approximation, plus f sub y, the partial derivative of f with respect to y, evaluated at a, b, which is the point where we want to find the linear approximation, and then y minus b plus the function value at a, b. So we need these three values, fx at a, b, fy at a, b, and f at a, b, and then we can find the linear approximation, or sometimes people call this thing the tangent plane equation, so they're the same. Linear approximation or tangent plane, they're both the same equation. So let's find the linear approximation. So let's evaluate some things here. We need to find um, f at a, b. So first of all, f at a, b. Let's see what f at a, b is. Well, what's f at a, b? Well, that's just f of 1, 1. That's the point where we want to find the linear approximation. We just plug that into the function. So plug in x equals 1, y equals 1 to our function. That's going to be 1 minus 1 times 1, which is 1, cosine of pi times 1. So that's 1 minus 1 times negative 1, which is going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. So that's our function value that's going to go at the very end of our linear approximation. Now we need to find f sub x. What's the partial derivative of this function with respect to x? So go up here, look at the function, differentiate with respect to x. Well, everything else is treated like a constant. So the partial derivative is y cosine of pi y. Pretty easy, actually, thankfully. So evaluate this, plug in. Oops, negative out front. Don't forget the negative. Um, evaluate this at um, 1, 1. So f sub x at 1, 1 is going to equal negative 1 times cosine of pi. Well, cosine of pi is negative 1. There's a negative 1 here, so this is negative 1 times negative 1. And negative 1 times negative 1, we know, is just 1. All right, so now f sub y... Well, we're going to use the product rule because we have a product as far as y goes. So the first term, 1, differentiate that, we get 0, minus x. And now differentiate this first part. So we have y times cosine of pi y. First differentiate y, we just get 1. And then leave cosine of pi y. Let me put this whole thing in parentheses because we're doing a product rule here. And then... Um, differentiate the second one, which is cosine of pi y, and leave the first term the same. So plus xy times derivative of cosine of pi y is going to be negative pi sine pi y. Close that parentheses there. Now I want to evaluate f sub y at 1, 1. So f sub y at 1, 1 is going to equal negative parentheses, 1 times 1 times cosine of pi, and then plus 1 times 1 times parentheses negative pi sine of pi. Now evaluate all of these. Sine of pi, that's 0. So actually this term is going to 0, and then this term is going to be negative, and then 1 times 1 is 1 times cosine of pi, but cosine of pi is negative 1. So it's negative, negative 1, which is just 1. So these are the three terms that we need. We need 2, we got 1, and then we got 1. It's actually pretty straightforward so far. Let's, uh, let's find the tangent plane now. So plug these three values into this equation up here. Plug in a and b, and we'll get the linear approximation of the tangent plane. L of x, y. The linear approximation, L of x, y, is equal to 
1 times x minus 1, because we found that partial derivative of f sub x at 1, 1 is 1, plus 1 times y minus 1, plus f of 1, 1, which we found was 2. So that's our linear approximation or our tangent plane equation. Um, you could say z equals, and that would be the tangent plane. But this is the linear approximation. Now we want to use the linear approximation to approximate f at this point. So this is a point that's kind of close to where we were finding the linear approximation. Now we just want to use the linear approximation to approximate f. So now f at 1.02, 0.97 is approximately going to be L of 1.02, 0.97. So plug those x and y values in to this linear approximation. So that's going to give us 1.02 minus 1 plus 0 0.97 minus 1 plus 2. Now 1.02 minus 1 is 0 0.02. 0 0.97 minus 1 is minus 0 0.03 plus 2. Now these first two give me negative 0 0.01. So negative 0 0.01 plus 2 is going to be 1.99. So that is approximately the function value f of 1.02 comma 0 0.97. So that's how we do it.